Krista. Welcome to the Walt Disney World Top 7 Must Sees. I'm here at Walt Disney World Resort in Florida with four theme parks, two water parks, entertainment, and recreation. It's goofy. I just love a man with a sense of humor. Look, look, it's Chippendale! But today, we're going to call out the most magical of the magic, the most thrilling of the thrills, to give you the top seven best things to do at Walt Disney World. All right. By number seven, we go to downtown Disney. A city of choices in a metropolis of fun. With over 80 unique shops, restaurants, clubs, you'll see some big names in entertainment here. And some big names in Yum. Alright. Big, big names in Yum. But it's at the downtown Disney west side where you'll find number seven. Cirque du Soleil show, La Nuba. Now, all the Cirque du Soleil shows are different. That's why they all have different names. And the La Nuba show is exclusive to the Walt Disney World Resort, so you can't see it anywhere else. So no matter what your age, if you're up for a big, fat chunk of absolute eye, ear, and imagination candy, and grab some tickets to see our number seven, the Cirque du Soleil show, La Nuba. For number six, we hit the recreation world part of Walt Disney World. And while it's home to five championship golf courses, Two of which are on the PGA Tour. Believe it or not, this is not where we find number six. Achoo! So grab your bathing suit, grab your sunscreen, and as much of your guts and glory as you can fit into a beach bag, and let's hit the Disney water parks. Free with admission. <laughs> when we come
Welcome back to the number five must-see attraction at Walt Disney World. There's a lot of ways you can see Walt Disney World, but if you want to see it all, whether it's a little bit at a time or everything all at once, you got to get one of these. It's called an Ultimate Park Hopper Ticket, and it lets you see Disney your way every day of your trip. I mean, with one of these, you can literally pop into one of the four theme parks, hit one ride, then split to another park, hit another attraction, go back to your room, take a nap, and then go to yet another park for some fireworks at night. Things more flexible than a carnival contortionist. And it's chock full of lots of other great Disney stuff, like the water parks and Pleasure Island. Pretty sweet, right? Call Guest Services and they'll hook you up. <laughs> what you think? <laughs> Welcome back to the top seven must-sees at Walt Disney World. I'm Krissa, and in reveal number five, we're here at the place where show business takes center stage. From thrill rides to kid-friendly fun and shows, the Disney MGM Studios. Welcome to New York. Hey, hi, how are you? Good to see you. I'm just kidding, it's Disney MGM Studios. We're torn between the Beauty and the Beast show, right? Because oh, that's I my like fave. That's, that's good. good. Oh, that one. Bell he turns into the hands. Bell. <gasps> my knees go like, weak. I know. I have to like like get like my hair. Yeah. <laughs> the Disney MGM Studios is a great place to catch a Broadway-style classic like Beauty and the Beast, or see the incredible nighttime spectacular Fantasmic, where Sorcerer Mickey battles it out with the evil villains of Disney past. If you're looking for number five, you've got to hit Playhouse Disney Live on stage. It's a super fun show where kids get to sing and dance with all their favorite characters from the Disney Channel, like Jim Henson's Bear in the Big Blue House, Roly Poly Oli, and Stanley. Move it up. We gotta go. We gotta find him. Characters, let's go. I'm looking for Goofy. Do you think he'd like me more if I wore this? <laughs> I'm gonna blush again. That is so cute. Muppet, Star Tours, Muppet, Star Tours. I don't know. Star Tours, let's go. I love Ewoks. Indiana Jones. He's cute. You know, while you're at the studios, you're a stone's throw away from a couple of the biggest thrills this side of Neverland. So let's go check them out. This is the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. It takes you 13 stories up and then drops you faster than the speed of gravity. And to make things even worse, this thing now serves up random ride sequences so you never know what you're gonna get. And this baby's called the Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith. The launch alone is a thrill ride in itself. Zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds. While we're talking about thrill rides, let's get over to the Magic Kingdom Park and meet our number four. Welcome to Magic Kingdom Park. Magic Kingdom is the heart of the Disney experience for kids of all ages. Number four, Walt Disney World must see. The Mountains of Magic Kingdom. Big Thunder Mountain, Splash Mountain, and Space Mountain. And you guessed it, I'm going to hit them all. So much fun! I'm going to ride Big Thunder Mountain. Classic attractions.
attractions at the Magic Kingdom too while you're here. From the Haunted Mansion, it's, it's a small world. You can't look at the other teacups. personal moments with all your favorite characters. It's goofy. I just love a man with a sense of humor. Don't go away. The number three must-see attraction at the Walt Disney World Resort when we return. Okay, I want to tell you about a real time saver: Disney's Fast Pass service, available exclusively to Disney theme park guests. This service is easy to use and cuts the wait time on the most popular attractions. Here's how it works. Go to any attraction with a Fast Pass kiosk and insert your admission ticket. You'll get a receipt imprinted with a designated ride time. Now go, enjoy the rest of the park. And when your ride time rolls around, come back to the Fast Pass entrance and hop on board with little or no wait at all. There's nothing extra to buy, and it's included with your theme park admission. Just look for the Fast Pass sign while you're in the park, and that's it. Pretty sweet, right? We now return to the top seven must-see attractions at Walt Disney World. Hello, everyone. I'm your host, Krissa, and welcome back to the top seven must-sees at Walt Disney World. And before we continue with our countdown, let's take a quick look at what we've seen so far. Number seven was the Cirque du Soleil show La Nuba at the downtown Disney West side. Number six was the water-powered wedging machine called Summit Plummet at Disney's Blizzard Beach Water Park. For number five, we went to the Disney MGM Studios to see Playhouse Disney live on stage. And number four was a triple mountain whammy with Splash, Big Thunder, and Space Mountains at the Magic Kingdom Park. On with our countdown. Number three on our countdown also lives at the Magic Kingdom Park. You know, when most people think about the Magic Kingdom, they think about classic Disney experiences. And while that's true, there's some great recent additions. Like Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin, inspired by Disney's presentation of the Pixar film Toy Story, and Cinderella's Surprise Celebration. Both are huge little kid pleasers. But brand new to the Magic Kingdom is number three on our countdown. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, drum roll please. Give it up for Mickey's Philhar Magic. What is Mickey's Philhar Magic? How about Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and a cacophony of other Disney characters, all animated in a 3D realm for the first time ever? And to top it off, you get to see it all on the largest seamless projection screen in the world. Talk about taking 3D to new heights and widths. So come get completely surrounded by and immersed in the absolutely enchanting Mickey's Philhar Magic. Now wait. Don't go running out of the Magic Kingdom just yet. Because when the sun sets, the sky comes alive to another brand new experience. Introducing Wishes. Wishes is the biggest, fattest, most fantastic, eye-popping, mind-blowing fireworks show in Disney history. And it's the ultimate end to any Disney day. The whole show is set to a classic Disney soundtrack and narrated by Jiminy Cricket himself. This story in the sky is one of the best new blasts of Disney magic to date. Don't go away. When we come back, the number two must-see attraction at Walt Disney World.
him either. He's pal Mickey. And I gotta say, he's a pretty cool dude. It's almost time for the parade. Wanna go see? <laughs> Whoops. We gotta get back to the countdown. We now return to the top seven must-see attractions at Walt Disney World. Welcome back to the top seven must-sees at the Walt Disney World Resort, everybody. I'm your host, Krista, and number two on our countdown lives in a pretty wild place. Disney's Animal Kingdom Park. Ah! Cute animals! Cute animals! Now, I know what you're thinking. Disney did a zoo, right? Well, that couldn't be further from the case. In fact, they have a saying down here. Disney's Animal Kingdom is many things, but there's one thing it's not. It's not a zoo. Not a zoo. Get it? Not a zoo. Not a zoo. So what is it? Well, it's a little bit Africa, a little bit Asia, a little bit Broadway, and a pinch of prehistoric, all with a big scoop of the imagination of Disney gone wild. the tree of life you'll find the hilarious 3d spectacular it's tough to be a bug flick and hopper from disney's presentation of a pixar film a bug's life and a cast of creepy crawling critters gets you screaming with laughter are you ready to go i'm ready to go and back in dino land usa you've got to check out dinosaur where you blast back in time to save the last dinosaur from extinction Pretty wild stuff. Ah! Oh, and Festival of the Lion King is a fantastic theatrical celebration inspired by Disney's animated hit. There's nothing like singing and dancing along with Simba and the gang. And don't forget, Animal Kingdom is also a great spot for catching up with the characters. Don't be shy. And Camp Mini Mickey is the place to do it. Let's see number two on our countdown. We have to go all the way to Africa. Well, Disney's Africa, and it's just like going to the real Africa, but without all the malaria shots and stuff. So get your cameras ready and keep your eyes open. Because number two on our countdown is Kilimanjaro Safari. Just through the African village of Harambe is an actual living, breathing African savanna. We're on safari. It's home to lions, crocs, giraffes, elephants, hippos, cheetahs, and all kinds of other wild creatures that you'll see as you ramble through on your safari vehicle. Vultures! Look at that vulture! The cheetah's taking a cat nap. Hello, Rhino. It's Disney's Mother Africa, right here in Florida, that makes Kilimanjaro Safaris number two on our top seven must-sees at Walt Disney World. Don't go away. When we come back, we're going to find out our number one must-see attraction at Walt Disney World. Here's a little tip I'm sure you'll love. Extra magic hour. Sounds pretty cool, right? But what is it? Well, it's an extra hour of magic. See, because you're staying in a Walt Disney World Resort hotel, each day you get an extra hour in one of the theme parks to visit with those fuzzy, lovey characters and enjoy some of the most popular attractions. So if the park opens at 9, you get to pop in at 8. It's a lot like having the place to yourself, or at least more to yourself, and typically it's a different theme park each day. Just check with guest services to find out the details on each day and get you a little extra magic. Come on, Goofy Buddy, where are you? We now return to the top seven must-see attractions at Walt Disney World. Okay, so if you're ready for the number one must-see at the Walt Disney World Resort, Get ready to go out of this world. Welcome back. 
Welcome to Epcot. But first, why not go around the world without really going around the world? I'm talking about World Showcase at Epcot, and all the great people, food, and architecture of the world is here. How that works? Plus, all around World Showcase, you'll find special places where you can meet some big Disney names like Aladdin and Jasmine, as well as Beauty and the Beast. And you find them in their home countries. So, let's do a little World Showcase, shall we? We're in Morocco. <laughs> Food from Morocco. Yum. I see London. I see France. You know the rest. Okay? No, see. God, wrong country. That's a country, honestly, one that serves crepes all day long. That's good stuff. Merci. I am walking very carefully so as not to spill my sushi. Kanishiwa. Shopping in Italy. Smells divine in there. Una gelato col favore. See, I'm learning. Disney classic, a turkey leg. I'm getting fish and chips in England. Chips, please. Fish and chips, yay! The Vikings. Another pretty amazing thing that you got to see at Epcot is illuminations, reflections of Earth. Every night, a symphony of sound, light, and fireworks choreographs an amazing close to your day at Epcot. Then hit test track, where you run a test car through its paces on one of the longest, fastest rides at Walt Disney World. Oh heck, let's just go do it. Okay, this is it. Time to reveal the number one must-see attraction at Walt Disney World, which happens to be out of this world. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the most thrilling, amazing, incredible ride known to mankind. Mission Space. Mission Space is Epcot's brand new white knuckle thrill ride to the red planet and it's got plenty of force and gravity to suck the goosebumps right out of you and i'm gonna ride it. Walt Disney World theme parks, two Disney water parks, and the downtown Disney area to put together the top seven must-see attractions at Walt Disney World. Thanks, everybody. I'm Krista. See you next time. Now get on out there and do it. Go on. Go. Okay. Who came up with top seven? That was like 107.
Coming up next, the top seven must-see attractions at Walt Disney World.